when you turn your face to the wall. This is exactly what they told me yesterday. His brother took me aside and he said, look at this swing pastor. And I was thinking he was just showing me the swing. He said, me and my wife, remember what you said. Turn your face to the wall. Every morning at 4.30, we are up in the morning. We are having our faces to the wall with our Bibles. We are on our knees. We are praying. And it's amazing what prayer can do and bring about in a man's life when you mean business with God. This is what we're trying to teach people. You mean business with God. You get up early and you seek his face. You will never find you are the loser at the end of the day. You're always blessed. You're always far exceedingly moving ahead of others. Then you can even perceive in the natural. Come with me to Isaiah chapter 38, please. Isaiah yes, Pustakam Mupatheta Dadigaratir Kimindam Namaruvama. Isaiah Mupatheta Dadigar. One of the Vasna Manatkali, Esekia, Vyadi Patu, Maranatiki, Edwa Yirinan, Apurde, Amosin, Kumaranage, Esaya, and Umtirka, there is Yamanidatil, one day, Amane Noki, near Ruma the Vita Kariate, Urunga Purtum, near Pereka Mati, Maritu Povi, and the Katha Soligar Arendra, in the Vasanate, Namasik, and Burdu, or Kelvi, and Bugarade, Mudivile, and Adan the Kariatode, in the Vasanate, Nam Park, and Burde, Katha, our dear Manade, Mat, Mat. Martinaro Yendori Kelvi Namakulaga Varagra. Did God change his mind about Ezekiel? A king Hezekiah. No. God never changed his mind about King Hezekiah. And I want to show you that this evening, please. Parangal Kapter already a manaday matra villay. Our Eseka Raja, we ask you to come in the Mendri, a poor the main in it to Kundirina Anna Eseka Raja, our dear Pangate, say ya the Pachatile, cut the Ramanaka say and in it that they say a mudia melinde. Now that's the most important thing. Most people don't realize it like that. They think God is sovereign, He'll do anything. No, if you don't do what you're called to do, then God cannot do what He said He will do in your life. He will not gate crash. He will not force himself in. He said, if you get up early, you seek my face early, you will find me. If you don't get up early, if you don't seek his face early, to tell you the truth, you won't find him. You will not meet with wisdom. Instead, you will meet with foolishness. You will meet with confusion. You will meet with everything else except wisdom, my friends. God didn't change his mind about King Hezekiah. God always wanted Hezekiah healed. God always wanted him blessed. The same he wants you healed. The same way he wants you blessed. The same way he wants you prosperous. It's for you to do your part. Because there is a two-way process. God's part, your part. God's part, your part. God's part, your part. You fulfill your part, God will do his part. But if you think God will do everything and you don't have to do anything, then you're sadly mistaken because you will see the ones who are doing their part, finding God do his part in their life and they'll start moving ahead of you. And that's what is terribly upsetting for most people. They want to know how is so-and-so blessed. My friends, find out what so-and-so is doing. Find out what so-and-so is doing. Find out whether so-and-so is sitting and, you know, meditating on the word day and night. What is so-and-so doing? Is he playing his part? Remember what Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 says, Let not this word of the Lord depart from out of your mouth. But if you will meditate on it day and night, then you will make your way prosperous. You will do it. Some people say, but I thought God will do it. No, God said, no, you will do it. You will make your way prosperous. And the last part of that verse is amazing. You will have wisdom to handle life's affairs every day. The part of God is to give you his word. It's your part to take his word and do something with it. Hallelujah. 
I can prove this to you through so many scriptures. When the disciples caught 153 fish, did Jesus come and throw the net for them? He said, cast your net on the other side. The casting of the net was the disciples' part. The casting of the net on the other side was his part, the revelation. When they cast the net in obedience, the 153 fish got caught in the net, his part. And these were no ordinary fish. It tore the nets. They had never caught fish this size. It tore the nets. They got frightened. They called to the others and said, come, come, come. This is miracle catch. We need more people to hold on to this catch. Even after your heal, please listen. Sugatai Petra Varukum idu Katude Varte Dan. Yenne Sugatai Todende Ungal Var Kele. Irin the Kondirika Vendu Mendal Ungladi Pagam under Irikrede. Yenna Pagam Viswasatanale Petra Karyam Viswasatanale Mudivu Bariende Ningal Kata Kola Vendu. Can I have an Amen, please? How did you receive the healing? By faith? Good. Then by faith you sustain the healing. How did you receive your money? By faith? Good. Then by faith you sustain your money. You can't throw away your faith and start walking the way you like to live. Because if you want the miracle to continue to manifest, you've got to do it God's way. Then he begins to do his part in your life. Vasipon. Solaponal Tirka Darsiage Esayam Wundrum Amanek Seya Mudyama Lirindar Yendanam Parkarum Yen and Ral Ida Sonna Wudane Aman Pura Pate Eseka Raja Vai Vite Sendra Nindanam Parkaru. I'm going to ask you a question. Isaiah was such a powerful man of God. Why didn't he pray and change the tide? It is not because Isaiah did not have faith to do it. King Hezekiah had to do something himself first before something from God would come into his life. It's the same for every man, every woman, every child. You got to do something. And there's something when you have done, God will do what he says he will do. You apply for a job, you will get the job. You sit and wait and say, God's going to give it. He can't give it. Because you never applied. So if somebody came and told you, you're not going to get a job, you got to understand the reason why they're telling you that. It's because you're not doing your part. It's not because they are cursing you. It's because you have not done your part. You do your part. Then God begins to do His part. Of course, you have the people who misuse this and turn it around to suit their own purposes. I read a very amusing short story one time. There was a young boy called Johnny. And his mother was throwing a party. So she knew Johnny liked all good things which were prepared during party time. She had worked hard. She had made a lot of things. She knew Johnny was running around the table just waiting to get something the moment she turned away. So suddenly she caught him and pulled him up close to her and said this. She said, I know the statement, God helps those who help themselves. But Johnny, listen, God help you if you help yourself. Some people, you know, misrepresent the entire situation at times. But you must understand that you have your part and to fulfill and then God will fulfill his part in your life. You've got to fulfill your part. 
take any situation. You fulfill your part, God will do his part. Till you do your part, he cannot do his part. When you read the book of Psalms, the Bible says they limited the Holy One of Israel. Can you believe it? They tied his hands. They tied his hands. God wanted to help them. How did they limit him? By unbelief. எப்படியாவது தீர்க்க தரிசி இல்லாவிட்டால் பிரசங்கி சூழ்நிலையை மாற்றுவார் என்று நாம் நினைக்கிறோம் ஆனால் தீர்க்க தரிசி சூழ்நிலையை மாற்றவில்லை ஏசையாவுடைய ஜபம் அந்த சூழ்நிலையும் மாற்றவில்லை ராஜா ஒருவரே அதை அவருடைய சூழ்நிலையை மாற்ற முடிந்தது அவர் செய்ய வேண்டியது என்ன வாக இருந்தது சுவர் புறமாக தோன்றிய முகத்தை திரும்பி ஜபிக்க வேண்டியதாக இருந்தது They think God must do it my way or else I'm not going to pray. No, you better listen. You want to see God work. You better humble yourself under the mighty hand of God that he might lift you up in due time. When someone tells you wait upon the presence of God, it's not to put you down. It's actually to guide you and lead you into a higher dimension of walking with God. I heard people come out with the most stupid statements. I don't have time. Really? What if you lose your job? And you remain unemployed for six years. I know someone who went through that pain. Seven years unemployment. Today he holds a very big post with a very big organization in Chennai. But when I used to talk to him and say, why don't you wait upon the presence of God? He look at me and say, no time. That's for you. One time he had the audacity to look at me straight and in my face and say, if God wanted to call me for ministry, he'll speak to me. Today his entire life is in ministry only. I only asked him one question, have you taken time to hear? Some people are so arrogant. They say, well, if God wants to speak to me, he'll speak to me anyhow. No, you've got to prepare yourself to hear from him as well. He's the ancient of days. not you you may look like the ancient of days but you're not the ancient of days he has all the time not you and me our time on planet earth is limited if we want to hear from him we have to set ourselves into a place where we can hear from him sometimes it is cutting away a lot of unnecessary things from our life things that don't matter things that don't you know apply to our lives at all they are not progressive they don't produce anything good in our lives cut them off ax them out then take time to listen to god you'll save yourself a lot of pain look at this verse please appozhudhu yesaiah than mugathai suvarpuramaga thirupikonda kattrai nokki a kattave நான் உமக்கு முன்பாக உண்மையும் மன உத்தமுமாய் நடந்து உமது பார்வைக்கு நலமானதை செய்தேன் என்பதை நினைத்தருளும் என்று விண்ணப்பம் பண்ணி எசேக்கா மிகவும் அழுதான் அப்பொழுது ஏசாயாவுக்கு உண்டான கத்துடைய வார்த்தையாவது நீ போ எசேக்கியாவை நோக்கி உன் தகப்பனாகிய தாவிதின் தேவனாய் இருக்கிற கத்த சொல்கிறது என்னவென்றால் உன் விண்ணப்பத்தை கேட்டேன் உன் கண்ணீரை கண்டேன் இதோ உன் நாட்களோட பதினைந்து வருஷம் கூட்டுவேன் 
கூட்ட விரும்பின தேவன் கூட்ட முடியாமல் இருந்தது ஏனென்றால் அதுவரைக்கும் அவன் சுவர் புறமாக தன்னுடைய முகத்தை திருப்பாமல் ஜபமும் செய்யவில்லை இவனுடைய வாழ்க்கையின் சரித்திரத்தை நீங்கள் பார்ப்பீர்கள் என்றால் அவன் கர்த்தரோடு உறவாடின ஒரு மனிதன் திடீர் என்று அவன் நோய் வாய்ப்பட்டு படுக்கையில இருக்கும் வேளையிலே சுவாரஸ்யமாக ஒரு காரியத்தை செய்தான் என்ன தன் நோயை குறித்து ஒரு நாளும் கத்தரை பார்த்து ஜெபித்தது கிடையாது beautiful relationship with god he had so many mighty things happen in his life but the most amazing thing was this when he fell sick he never had confidence that god could heal him god could change the time in his life somehow it took the prophet's word for him to see light and perfection he was thinking somehow it will happen God said no somehow you will die if you keep waiting the way you're going you got to change the tide yourself so many people are amazed sometimes they remain in a situation too long then all of a sudden they wonder why on earth am i sitting in this situation let me get out and get up and get out the moment they get up and get out they find themselves out then they're wondering what on earth was i doing all the time inside did god suddenly change his mind about them no he always wanted them to get up and get out they were sitting and remaining in that same place let's close this please this evening idai sonna udane இன்னொரு காரியத்தையும் அவர் சொல்லுகிறார் நான் உன்னையும் இந்த நகரத்தையும் அசீரிய ராஜாவின் கைக்கு தப்புவித்து இந்த நகரத்துக்கு ஆதரவாய் இருப்பேன் வாழ்க்கையை கொடுக்கும் கர்த்தர் அந்த வாழ்க்கையை சிறந்த விதத்திலே நாம் அனுபவிக்கும்படிக்கு வெளிச்சத்தையும் தருகிறார் வெளிப்பாடை தருகிறார் ஹீஸ் நவ் மூவிங் பியாண்ட் த ஹீலிங் ஆஃப் கிங் ஹெசகாய ஹீஸ் டாக்கிங் அபவுட் ப்ரொடெக்டிங் த லேண்ட் எஸ் வெல் தட்ஸ் வாட் விஆர் சிங்கிங் அபவுட் that's what we are talking about your land will see the glory of god your land will not be desolate your land will be married said the lord your god your land will be moist not like a desert any longer not like a desert any longer you got to believe that you got to believe that sometimes when you hear a word come to you it's your responsibility to rise up and grab a hold of the word that's your responsibility that's your part when you grab a hold of god's word then god begins to do his part because he gave you the word only he can transform your land only he can heal your land only he can bless your land only he can send showers of blessing on your land no one else can then something all a surprise with the rains that have come upon this land but how many times have we sang the ground that's parched now shall be flooded with rain from above how can god do less than that what we have sung how can he do less than what we have sung and we didn't just sing the land that spots now it shall be flooded with rain from above some of you sing those songs mechanically you think it will happen sometime in december he says no it will happen the moment you sing with faith and you believe with faith i will change the times and the seasons 
Everybody is surprised in the world. Why is this happening? We'll ask the people in the church why it's happening. They're asking the wrong crowd. All the time they're asking the meteorological people. They don't know what the others are singing by faith. So they say, no rain today, rain comes. They say, rain today, that sun comes. They're confused. Everybody is laughing. All are mocking them. But it's actually the people of faith who are talking things into being or in, into, you know, something else. The Bible says, Elijah was a man of like passions like us. He prayed there won't be rain. There was no rain. He prayed there will be rain. There was rain. Your God is the same God of Elijah. He is the same God of Elijah. Eliyav and Devan, Ungal Devan. Remember, Elijah and 20 other prophets didn't join together and have a prayer meeting and say there won't be rain. He said it, it happened. He prayed it, it took place. You say it, it happens. You say it and it will take place for you. There can be an entire nation of unbelievers and you're the only one who's really believing. It will happen for you. Of course, the entire nation of unbelievers may laugh and say, don't think that it's only because of you. But you just keep saying what you have as yours. Joseph did it. Hezekiah did it. You do it as well. It will be yours, my friend. I'm a little man in the Nirpoma.